Here's the last two slides. I want to go through risk management recommendations. Number one, just do not rely on the building codes. This is true for anywhere. It's true for China. It's true for Japan, by the way. True for US. True here. Building codes are very similar everywhere. Just don't rely on the building codes to do the risk management because they ain't going to work. And you should really do a risk audit to um, understand the uh, risk is and what buildings and what facilities and what areas should it fix. And don't just depend on a computer generated data. This is actually, we don't do well in the US. Engineers go in there, put up some whole bunch of computer results and say here is what, and that doesn't work that way. Have to have experienced engineers on site actually see things. Use the, the data from a past experiences. And I think that's a really critical element of the risk management. And you get the obviously expo exposure not only buildings, you can see content and the business interruptions and market share. Here's the, two, here's the things we do for private sectors and the public sectors. We need to do that. Private sectors, they need to manage the risk to reduce the financial exposure for their facilities and the business operations. That's what they should do for risk management. And this is a message you want to talk to private entities. Reduce their financial exposure. Because once you start talking about where they talk, their CFO talks, they are going to listen. They are going to want to do something about their financial exposure because they are responsible. They are responsible for their shareholders. Make sure that the, their share value doesn't go down. And, and this is, you have to do it. Public sectors have to do it. Private sectors cannot do this. You need to manage the risk of the public buildings, schools, and the hospitals, and police station, and uh, lifelines. I know you can get a lot of charitable contributions, but it's not good enough. This needs to be done. You have a limited funding. Certain facilities are fixed, and it makes a huge impact what's going to happen during the emergency. And lastly, they provide emergency preparedness. I think this department seems like everyone doing really well, you know? And, but increasing the quality of engineering and construction also makes a huge difference. This may take a long time, but you can do that. Took California 80 years. 1933, there was a Long Beach earthquake, and it collapsed at the brick school. And since that, we have not lost a single student in California earthquakes. But it took us 80 years to get up there. Here's a survive, here are survivors, and this is what we're doing this for, right? See, we lost the 10,000 students and the 70,000 people and more. And only thing we can do for them is we to act, we to provide a risk management, and we to save the kids, people here. And that's how we can remember all those students and people die in China. Thank you very much.